Of all the things that people compete in, this one, a cut above the rest. Tonight we will meet a man who has no beef with the number of awards he's scraping up. Jessica Gill has his story. He likes his meat all right. Oh yeah. Yeah, the rarer the better. And if you've ever had a steak at Texas Roadhouse in Papillion, Eric Ariola has probably sliced it up for you. Each uh, piece of meat has to have a certain thickness, has to weigh a certain um, amount, has to have a certain length. And it's got to be cold. Keeping it cold helps to keep the knife straight, also the meat straight from not moving. And when he gets it just right. Flat my cutting board because I hit money. But you see, cutting meat is no easy feat. Standing in a spot, you know, like this all day long, I'm looking down. Cutting, cutting, cutting. All while in a cooler, mind you, but he passes the time. Welcome to your mom's house. By listening to comedy. I'm in my own little world and I'm just laughing, laughing. And perfecting his skill for his next big competition. Oh, yeah, people compete in this type of thing. This year, he was named regional champion, and that's just the cherry on top of all the awards that he's won. He's not only compensated in trophies, though, there's actually good money tied to meat cutting. Yes, there is. <laughs> yep, my boss would uh, agree with me, I would imagine. <laughs> so, the secret to his success? Cold meat, pressure, a ruler yes. is always good, yes. and can I do the slap? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Having fun while doing what you love. With photographer M.H. Denker, I'm Jessica Gill, WOWT 6 News. And he's only had this career five years, yet he has reached this level, so he is on the fast track. Over all that time, Eric says he hasn't suffered any major injuries. He did, however, almost lose a toe by dropping a knife on his fourth week on the job.